Yeah, so I'm not big on talking in videos, especially with the ASMR mic that I have. Um, because they're meant to be relaxing, but um, if anyone does have questions, I will answer them. I'm trying to decide if I like trying out this three-piece one or <laughs> just using the singles because I like using the singles. I feel like they're easier, but this does save a lot of time. So that's why I keep switching back and forth. But yes, we actually love fall. It is one of our favorite times of year. So we are very excited. We are going to be doing um, lots of fall scents. Um, we just got a lot of new scents in. Um, another thing that our company is really big on is testing scents before we sell them. So unfortunately it does take, um, a couple weeks to test all of our scents out before we sell them, but we are in the process of testing a few of those, um, pumpkin type scents, gingerbread, um, nutmeg, other spices, um, apple, we do have lots of scents coming. So yes, I hope you guys are excited as we are on the fall scents. But if you have any other questions, just ask. But back to um, the candle scents. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't like to announce candle scents that we have until we get them tested um, because I don't want to sell something that I don't think smells good or smells like what it's supposed to. So that's why we do take the time to test everything before putting it on our website and selling it. Um, if there's something that you guys in particularly want or a candle scent that you really, really like, then comment on one of my videos and I will go ahead and make that a top priority to getting those ones made. Um, and on top of testing scents, um, once we agree that we like the scent and it has a strong 
scent of what it is supposed to smell like and that we would like to sell it. It does take a couple weeks for candles, um, what's called curing. So the candle needs to properly set before, um, before you burn um, in order to make it smell the strongest um, and in order for it to completely harden and have all the scents um, and the wax meld together. So that's another reason why um, sometimes it can take a long time. Like for our custom orders, for example, um, we do let people know that it will take between two and three weeks. And that's just so we know that the candle is properly um, set and ready to ship and be handled and moved before um, What are some of the fall scents? Okay, so I'm not sure if you were on here when I was announcing them, but um, yes, we we do have some fall scents coming. Um, we have just ordered them. I was just explaining um, that they do take some time. Um, because we like to test our scents first before we sell them. We don't want to sell anything that we personally do not like and would not want to have burning in our house. And sometimes we'll get a scent and we'll be like, oh, we're so excited. This sounds awesome. And then we burn it and it doesn't smell like what it's supposed to. So we only sell and make the products on our website that we personally enjoy and know that is a good scent um so like especially for our custom orders they do um take two to three weeks to make because we do have to let them sit and cure first and especially with how hot it's been um shipping we get very nervous um because if they get too hot they can melt um so that is another thing that we worry about with shipping. Um, but we are very excited for our fall scents. We're constantly ordering new scents. Um, these are actually two that I'm trying right now. Uh, well, the brown sugar we do have on our site already. This is a new one, the cherry blossom. Um, I just did a lot of flower scents um, for kind of more of a summery type thing. And so now we're trying to jumpstart into the fall so we can have them ready. Um, we have things like um, pumpkin gingerbread. We have pumpkin pie. Um, we also have a key lime pie. Uh, what else did I actually just got some today? Um, hold on, let me go see what I have. which smells really good. It smells like baked goods. Um, so we're going to test those ones. And then I also have more that I am waiting to purchase. But yes, fall scents are our favorite. We are really excited to test some of those. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. It's really not made for an ASMR chair. So if I'm muting the mic, it's probably because I'm moving in my chair.
feel like I've been on this color forever. It's very pretty though. Eventually I will get down to the more purpley color and pink. Yes, I am also a pumpkin lover as well. I will be posting when they are up for sale. I think I should have it in my bio. I'm not sure if I put them in my live bios. Um, but I know I have them in my other videos. We do sell on Etsy if you just search K and E candles under K and E candles. I am also in the process of trying to also set up on Shopify, but I am very, um, not very tech savvy, which has made um, making videos and TikToks like this interesting to say the least, because it's all new to me. Um, I've never been much of a technology person but I actually love watching ASMR videos. So that's what made me want to start making videos of my own because I figured if I like to sit around my candles and work on diamond paintings, it's very relaxing for me. Um, and I thought maybe other people would enjoy it as well. Um, but right now we are selling our candles on Etsy um, and we'll hopefully be expanding more um, the more I work through things. Like I said, it's kind of the technology portion that's holding me back. but it's just a learning process like everything else, I suppose. I really like these um, little containers. Um, I, I have my typical containers that we sell in and something new I've been working on is um, going to my local thrift shops and looking for um, special mugs. I can show this one a little bit better. Um, these ones, oh, I can't remember the name of them. Um, they're really, really popular blue and white pattern. Um, there's like a whole set um, my, my grandma actually had some, and she passed them down to my mom. And unfortunately, I think she donated them as well. But they are so pretty. They just remind me of my grandma. And that's something new that I've been working on, is finding, like, unique little pieces. Um and making them into candles. Because I think a lot of people on Etsy, they wanna buy something that is like one of a kind um, that nobody else has. And that's what you get when you buy one of these because I'm not finding a bunch um, that are the same. I'm buying like very unique pieces that I'm only making a single one of. So um, if that's something that you're interested in is like either vintage or like antique um, little mugs or teacups, that is something we are introducing into our shop as well. 
Oh, thank you. Someone said that the candle in the mug is so cute. Yes, I'm so glad I'm not the only one that likes ASMR. I, I just love it. Um, the other, um, my other partner in this, the K part of K and E, um, Kenny, he's my boyfriend. We live together. Um, he, oh gosh, he loves candles as much as I do. Um, and I told him I wanted to start making videos to showcase our candles. And I said, I think I want to kind of make them into like ASMR videos. And he's like, I don't even understand what that is. And I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> you don't have to understand. I will, I will do it. Um, and it, like I said, it's just more so something fun for me. Um, this is something that I like to do at night after a long day. Someone else said that it's it's very relaxing to watch after a long day. That's exactly when I get on and look for ASMR videos. Okay, I should probably stop going right. I think I'm going to stop. Looks like I'm off camera here. I'm gonna stop here. Actually, let me try turning this a bit. That's better. I am going to stop here and start working my way down. I like to try to keep them in little squares. And I'm sorry about the setup. I know it's not the most fancy. I'm currently recording on a webcam that you would use to like stream video games. Um, that would be Kenny's. Um, because unfortunately on YouTube, you have to have, I think 50 subscribers to your channel before you can film from your phone, which is my preferred method. Um, I think my videos come out nicer and better when I can film on my phone um, because I can get more of that close-up look. I can get more of like a direct look overhead. Um, but unfortunately with YouTube, um, I'm kind of new to YouTube, so I don't have a big following of subscribers. So unfortunately, I have to film on this tiny area um, I wish you could see more of my table with all of my different colors that I have. Um, and my glue and everything. But unfortunately, um, unless hopefully people subscribe, I can get a better setup. Um, and that is more of Kenny's side of things. He's very good at doing the whole streaming thing. So maybe he will buy us a nice little setup if we get some subscribers. <laughs> but thank you to anyone watching or commenting. It means a lot to me. And to both of us. I, when I say me, I don't, I don't necessarily mean me. I do always mean us. It's just that I am mainly the one running the day-to-day -day, um, because Kenny does have a full-time job that he has to go to and he actually works a lot of overtime as well. So um, it leaves me to handle a lot um, of the day-to-day, -day, but he's very helpful when he needs to be. And he's very helpful, especially at testing the sense out. <laughs> He actually has a couple in his game room right now. He wanted to get into streaming as well. Um, it's very difficult to get a large group of people together at the same time, I think is his issue. But move on to the next color. You guys can let me know. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm kind of new to this. I don't know if you guys like the talking. You don't like the talking. 
You know, a lot of ASMR does the talking. I hope you can hear the crickets like I can. My window's open, so hopefully there's not too many cars that pass. But I kind of find it relaxing when the cars drive past as well. I don't know, I've never lived in town until the last about five years we've lived here. And I've actually grown to like the sound of cars and traffic and the nighttime kind of sounds that you hear. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for scents, or if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like, um, send them my way because I love doing different things. Um, I don't, I'm the kind of person that does not like to do the same thing every day. So I do like to switch it up whenever I can. Yes, the wood wicks as well. So this one here is a wood wick. I think you can actually hear it if I sit closer. This is actually a new product of ours as well. I don't think I have it on our website yet because I haven't gotten a chance to make any um, with the wood wicks. I have gotten them in, but I have not made any um, other than tester candles. Um, so that's actually my next big project is to get our wood wick set started along with our fall scents. Um, I... Yeah, like I said, I, I got the wood wicks in. I just have not made them or put them on my site yet. Um, but I do think I will go ahead and put them on as a made to order item. So if somebody does want a candle, they don't have to wait for me to make every scent that we have available because right now we're at upwards of like 30 to 35 cents. Um, and for a small business like us with two people, it takes a long time to make that many candles um, with all those different scents. So I do think I will put it up as a made to order candle first. So um, if somebody has a particular scent or multiple scents that they want that they can order it um, and I will fulfill that before anything else that I put on as stock. So that's in the works in the future. Um, another plan that I'm doing, and sorry, like, <laughs> sorry if I sound kind of like, I don't know what I'm talking about because I really didn't have like a plan or a script for talking. Um, I'm going to drink some of my coffee. Maybe it'll help me talk better. Um, another plan that I have in the works is to do um, sets. So for these tins, not these, oh, sorry, not these exact tins. Um, this one is a rose gold tin. I know it's kind of, kind of hard to see the color over here, but it's like a really pretty rose gold color. Um, that's what color we have right now for our four ounce tins, four ounce soy candles. Um, but I also have other tins, um, and I want to start doing gift sets because I know a lot of people like to, um, purchase them as a set, like, like a little gift set. So I actually have gift boxes that I, that I have, and I'm going to put them in. Um, and I just, I'm still kind of working on like which scents 
I want to put together into a gift set because I kind of want it to make sense. I don't want to just throw like random scents together. I want them to be something that um, you would want to buy that are like all in the same general area. Like I kind of want to do, we have a lot of baked good, baked goods candles. Um, so I'm thinking of doing like a four piece set. We have like sugar cookie, um, pecan pie, uh, blueberry muffin, vanilla cupcake. Um, we have the brown sugar. Um, oh my gosh, we have so many. I can't even think of all of them. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of wanting to put that together as a gift set. And then, like I said, I just um, tested a bunch of candles with flower scents. So I also want to put together um, a flower gift set. So of just like four various flowers and putting them together into a set. So that is also in the works. Um, hopefully doing that um, tomorrow and this weekend. Um, I can't believe it's already almost the weekend. Oh my gosh, this week just flew by. But I am uh, going to be working on some this weekend. And hopefully by next week I will have them up on my site. I'm sorry, another thing you might be hearing in the background right now, or possibly in really any of my videos, um, is like a little jingly bell. And that would actually be my cat, Sterling. Um, I actually have three cats, but he is the only boy. And he is very, very cuddly, and he's very attached to both my boyfriend and I, but the, mostly to me um, because I'm home more, and he actually gets very, very upset whenever he is shut out of a room. We normally do not close doors in our house because they will just claw and try to get in. Um, but unfortunately, whenever you do ASMR, you really don't want any background noise. So right now I can hear him outside of my door. And I can hear his little bell on his collar. And I can hear him meowing every now and then too when I was talking, so you might not have been able to hear him. But if you do hear it, fear not. I promise you he is okay. <laughs> he is well fed. He is well loved. He just does not like to feel excluded from the fun. So I think he might have Nope, as soon as I said that, I heard him scratching. I was going to say, I think he might have retreated to the couch where he normally likes to sleep at night. He's a little night owl like me. He likes to be wherever I am. But he's been itching a lot. The summertime really gets him. Um, I think he either has some kind of like allergies or... His skin just gets really dry with all the shedding. So I'm actually taking him to the vet tomorrow because I think he is due for eardrops. I wanted to give him some eardrops, but they expired in June and I didn't want to risk giving him anything expired. So, taking him to the vet to get some new eardrops. So 
so you might hear his little jingly bell or his little meow. It's just because he wants in. a little square that I started so I'll at least finish the square oh now I hear him scratching I might have to let him in because I don't want him to ruin our doors <laughs> He's playing with a toy outside of my door. I'm just afraid if I go out there now, I'll wake my dog up. We also have a puppy. We have a dog as well, but she doesn't get riled up like the puppy. If I were to go out there, the puppy would be awake. She's like a baby, it would take her a while I'd have to get her back to sleep. She's about eight months old. Our puppy. We got her from a shelter. So I'm not exactly sure. But we got her when they thought that she was about four. I think they thought she was about four or five months old whenever we got her. So we've had her for about four months now, so she should be about eight months old. And she is almost like having a child. I mean, she has her routines that she needs. She has her bedtime. So I would love to be more consistent. <laughs> with making videos, but I have to wait until she's asleep because she would be a little bit too loud for some more videos. me of like a like I'm sitting by a little campfire which unfortunately we did not get to go camping this year um, we normally make it a point to go camping every year um, we've never really been one for big extravagant vacations or anything like that. But we do we do like to try to go camping at least once every summer every summer. But it's becoming increasingly more difficult for me and us to leave home for long stretches of time because we now have five pets. We have the three cats, the dog, and the puppy. And I just really don't like to leave them. 
I have people that I trust who are very, very good with our pets who will take care of them for us, but I just do not like to leave them. I get very, very anxious. Um, I have a lot of anxiety and I like to be home and I like to be with my family. And that's when I'm the most calm. I don't even, like I said, I don't even like closing Sterling out right now. But it's only for a little bit and then I will go give him lots and lots of attention before I go to bed. a nice alternative to not being able to take a camping trip to having the the woodwork sound. And we actually did um, and we do already have for sale a campfire candle. And it smells just like you're sitting around a fire while you're camping. I also love campfires. We usually do lots of campfires, either at our house or at Kenny's parents' house, they have a nice yard for fires. But sometimes being outside in the smoke upsets my allergies. So sometimes I can't be around them for very long. So it's also a very, very nice alternative. to have a campfire candle. This is one of my favorite parts, is whenever you get all of the big pieces in, and then you can just kind of go through and just zip through really quick with the little single ones that just snap right in. so much. I feel like I've been talking a lot. But like I said, I am kind of new to this. And I really haven't talked a lot about our candles and what we have to offer. Okay, I tried taking the cover off. And 
that actually sounds a little bit better, I think, without the cover on the mic. Somehow the coffee is cold, even though it's like 85 degrees in here. It was not too hot whenever I started, but definitely got hot now, so I'm probably just going to finish this square. Unfortunately, I do not have air conditioning. And if I turn the fan on, I think it'll be too loud. It was actually a little bit cooler today than it has been. But for some reason, it is very hot now. I have to open some of the purple ones. Looks like I might have just a couple of purple down here. So I still have a couple colors left to do. Yeah, I'm not sure about you guys, but I like to do something like this to relax at the end of the day. Before I try to go to bed, I sometimes have a really hard time falling asleep. Actually, I would say most nights I have a very hard time falling asleep. So that's another reason why I like to watch ASMR videos. I want 
Bit more wax. That actually lasted me quite a long time. I'm kind of excited. I always buy extra because I either run out or I misplace them. And I bought this cute little set. This one's, <gasps> this one's purple, and as you can see, <laughs> I actually have three of them in there. I don't know why they stuck them all together, but I got like 10 of these. I found this on Amazon. I got like 10 of these. And there's three in each one. And I've only used like two little dots of glue since I started. So that's exciting because that don't last quite a while, it seems like. I'm going to move that a little because I felt like my hand was getting too close to it. doing here with this one. color I was using. Do you think I kind of like this one that has a three on there? So you have to make sure they're lined up before you stick your thing down on them. Otherwise it doesn't work. Something I'm not sure. I've seen people use like the really long one that has like five or six on there. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I can never line that many up. And I stick it on there and it just doesn't look very nice. So that's why a lot of the time I just stick with the single piece one. Plus I'm really not in any rush, so I'm not worried about trying to finish quickly. So I wish that they had a better way to work on an area. Like I feel like my hand just keeps getting stuck to this and there's a little one that got stuck on there. And like I guess I could cut this piece for the one that I'm working on. But I like to cover it back up when I'm done. 
because even though it's covered, I feel like there's still like sticky areas around it. And I really don't want it to get dust all over it. So I, that's why I keep this on here. And I've done ones before that have like paper instead. And I actually really like this film a lot better. But yeah, I just feel like there could be a better way to keep it covered and to take it off and work on it. I guess I could try cutting it. But like I said, I just worry with how long they take. I don't want dust and fuzz to get in it when I'm not working on it. this whenever I'm finished. I think I'll probably give it to somebody. But I'm not sure who yet. I just really wanted to work on one because I did one years ago. enjoyed it, but, oh, sorry, um, I really enjoyed it, but I started working on it, and then we were in the process of moving, and so, Um, I didn't have any like containers or anything that you like I know now you can buy little containers Which I do have them for these But I think this is a nice little one. I can just kind of leave them in the package But like the one I did was really really big And there were like multiple packages of the same colors And I had nowhere to put them, and so when we tried to move, it was just like a nightmare. I was finding these things everywhere, <laughs> and I misplaced some of them, and I don't remember if I finished that one or not, but I did another one about a year or so ago. And it turned out really nice and I really enjoyed working on it. So I'm really glad that I got another one to work on.
is my first time doing a video with my windows open. So you guys will have to let me know. You guys will have to let me know if the sound of the cars passing is too loud. And I can always mute the mic whenever I hear a car passing. What time is it? It's 1.30 where I am, 1.30 in the morning. I actually usually have a pretty quiet street this time of the night. So I'm surprised I've even heard as many as I have. I actually thought it was a lot later. This one because I really liked the colors in here. It's lots of blues and purples and pinks. And I think it looks really nice together. me know if you like these kinds of videos. Like I said, I mostly do them just for fun. And to hopefully help other people relax. because I know it helps me relax. But if you guys like them, let me know. And I'll make sure to keep making them. I'll make them more consistently if, if you guys like them. So hopefully, um, if I can get some more subscribers, I will be able to record a little bit nicer because then I'll be able to use my phone. same color that I'm using currently. <laughs> That's making me nervous, so go ahead and toss that one in the trash so it doesn't get mixed into the wrong color because they do give you plenty of extras.
Sorry, it sounds like my dog is awake now. I'm hearing her caller now. I think it's kind of funny. Whenever you're a pet owner, you can tell which pet it is without seeing them because they each have their own sound, whether it be their color and their tags or just like the way that they walk. Sometimes I could just be sitting in a room and I'll hear footsteps and I know who it is before I even see. almost like having kids. They just each have their own little personality. I'm a huge pet lover in case you can't tell. No, we do not have any kids yet. So our pets are our entire world. Not that they wouldn't be if we had kids, I would obviously still love them all the same. But they really, really are like my children right now. <laughs> So spoiled, that's for sure. Okay, I am almost finished, and I do think I'm going to get off after this little square here that I'm working on. I just have um, a couple little more down here. Um, just have one, two, I think three or four different colors, but there's only a couple of each. Um, because, yeah, for some reason, it got really, really hot in here since I started this. I've been doing a lot of talking um, and I actually had these candles lit for about half an hour before that because it took me some time to get my um, webcam configured and everything because I'm terrible with technology um, so these have been going for about two hours this one's still looking really nice. I always put the little lid just like right under here um, because the tin does get a little warm when you're burning it for longer periods of time. I mean, it's not like hot, hot. Like I'm obviously holding it in my hand and it's not bothering me. Depending on what type of surface you're setting it on, you have to be careful. Well, not like that with any candle, but... So, and then you won't lose this. I always just stick it right under there. It fits really, really perfectly. But this one is looking really great still also. This is the woodwork going. This makes me just want to take a sip out of it. If 
thought about making a video of just the crackling candle, but I didn't know if that would be a little boring without having something else to watch. So I thought maybe I would put them more wall in between my diamond painting. But if you guys would like just a video, with no other sounds other than the candle. I can definitely do that. I really like this color. It's like a purple. It's kind of hard to see, I think. It's almost like a bluish purple, and it's one of my favorite colors. with my candles is to light one. And sit and read a book at night. Right now I'm reading Where the Crawdads Sing. Almost finished. I think I only have less than 100 pages left. And I'd really like to finish it. My grandma actually gave me her copy of the book. And her and my cousin both read it and really, really enjoyed it. And they wanted to all get together and watch the movie that just came out. And so I wanted to hurry up and read it. So I would be able to understand what was going on. it so far. I think the picture quality looks bad necessarily on this, but I just don't like what color is that that I accidentally skipped over on one. I just don't like how difficult it can be to set up and how difficult it can be to get a good angle. So it would be a lot easier to film from my phone videos like this. just allow the sounds to be the last little part of this video. Since I don't have much 
left and I feel like I've talked it.
Set it up. These pens, they have a little light on them that are rechargeable. It makes it so much easier. So you can see what you're doing. I'm gonna seal this back up real quick. and the interests. I really appreciate it. And it's fun to talk to you guys and get your guys' questions. Rest up there. 